Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're just waiting for the last couple of people to join the webinar. My name is Arun Wadvani. I'm the product manager here at Ingram Micro for DocuSign. I'm very pleased uh, this afternoon to have George Covino, who is the APAC channel lead for DocuSign, who's going to take us through a quick overview of DocuSign and uh, really more details around the offer to which uh, you've all seen come through. And obviously, that's why you've joined uh, for today's session. So just uh, very quickly, uh, George has been with DocuSign for three years, has been uh, instrumental in building up the APAC channel for DocuSign and has actually uh, been able to make Asia-Pacific the fastest growing region uh, above uh, EMEA in uh, the US, the Americas. So very exciting. Very pleased to have somebody with his caliber and knowledge. And he tells me he's an all round good guy as well. So I'm excited to uh, have him present this afternoon. So uh, George, uh, I hope you can see the screen and uh, you can see everybody online. Thanks very much, Ron. Yeah, so uh, yeah. thanks for the intro. Over so to you. Some people some people just refer to me as all around good egg. So uh, anyway, look, thanks very much for taking the time. I know time is very valuable for all of us. So I'm going to go through, and um, when I look at the objectives that have been set out for us today, principally the, the whole idea here is that with the, with the promotion that's, that's gone out there, it's to get everyone starting to take up the training and to start using DocuSign. But in the end, the objective here is to be able to go out and have uh, you know, have those customer conversations so that you can start generating some of the opportunities and, and you know, and downstream revenue. So the, the way that we're going to go through and do this today is I'm going to, I'm going to try and belt through quite a lot of slides here. Don't get uh, distracted by the speed at which we go to. Just run with me with the story. We're going to send this deck out to everyone so you'll have it all as a reference. Uh, a lot of the successful partners that, that we deal with they, they, they've got this or something similar to this where they refer to it as their kind of cheat sheet before they go in and have their conversations or, or, or while they're meeting their customers. So I'll go through and I'll, I'll take us through that and we'll touch different components of it. But please just note, we're going to send this all out with a whole bunch of additional slides that'll be, that will be that reference for you. So like I said, please, the, the objective here is we've put this terrific pr uh, promotion out there uh, and the objective is to get exposure to DocuSign and using DocuSign, so to take up the offer that we put there, but then to start using them. That's to go through and do some of that training. DocuSign's grown uh, prolifically over the past few years. A lot of that's because, certainly from a direct perspective, what we've done is we've used DocuSign for just about every facet of our business. And what happens out there is, you know, customers out there that receive DocuSign uh, documents uh, to execute, they go, wow, this is fantastic. I want to start using it within my own team. So please... Uh, take up the offer, drive it through, uh, and then start using DocuSign with your engagement into, uh, into the customer. We'll circle back on that, and I'm sure Arun's got a few things to, to, to add to that. So uh, today, I'm going to talk about DocuSign generically, but I really would like to make note that the uh, DocuSign and Microsoft have got an incredible integration and, and synergy together, and, and, and a strong part of that is that for people who've taken off on an Office 365 direction, um, they've already, you know, decided that they're taking up the cloud and they've got, that they're looking for those productivity uh, benefits. So any one of those customers is low-hanging fruit. And I'm going to present some of those slides that will show you what that integration is and how close it is. But please, as we go through, understand that everything we talk about from a DocuSign is enhanced further when you look at it from an Office 365 perspective. So... Along that theme, really today's about uh, you know helping and assisting on enhancing what that conversation is that's out there. Um, DocuSign is in the transformational business, and if you have a DocuSign conversation with your customers, you can really start to align to a couple of pillars and a couple of key conversations. And a, and a lot of vendors have spent a lot of money talking and, and, and educating the market around the digital transformation, whether it's sales transformation or a customer transformation, this is this digital disruption that's happening in, in, in the marketplace. And DocuSign certainly aligns to those key pillars, from an, uh, whether it's a return on investment or the customer experience and improving that, or very much around the compliance component for those transactions that are starting to happen in, our, in, you know, in that digital world. So being able to 
talk the DocuSign conversation, you can go in and have that disruptive conversation and you can have a point of view that you can table. One of the things I've found in my conversations with our partners is when they really understand the whiffen from a partner perspective, then they really start to accelerate those DocuSign conversations. And, and, and whilst this is a little bit busy, this really tries to summarise on why we think DocuSign resonates so well with the partner community out there. In essence, most of the customers out there, they've got gains that they're trying to get and they've got pains that they're trying to fix. And the sweeter solution, in particular the cloud solutions out there, they're gain creators and pain relievers. And DocuSign is one of those. The, the, the exciting find, uh, piece that I find in the feedback we get from the partners is that DocuSign is a really simple product. Once you've sold DocuSign, it can be delivered very, very quickly. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to go back to your customer and really start having a conversation that says, this is what I promised and here's the results I've delivered. I've delivered you these dollar savings, these percentage productivity improvements. And this is not in, in, in a, you know, a, an extended long-term program. This is within weeks. And what that does is it earns the partner a right to have that seat at the digital transformation table. And once that seat's there, then the partners really start to expand and look at other services that they can pull through and licenses, other solutions that they can pull through. So what, certainly the feedback is that one, you know, the partners who have worked that out and seen that they can lead with DocuSign or they can expand their current position within their customer base by talking DocuSign, they've really accelerated with certainly DocuSign component, but bringing and dragging through other solutions. So that to me is a lot of the, the driver on, on why the DocuSign component. I don't know how much I need to kind of go on about what's happening in the marketplace, but we all know that in today's day and age, uh, it's a must. It's not a want or a might. And that's really quite simple. Transformation uh, has happened, you know, um, uh, naturally over the past few years. We all remember the, 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 the whole scene for the for the old people. The, of the mainframes, but really today's day and age is around mobility and, 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 and that cloud world. And in today's day, age, a day and age, all successful businesses will be 100% digital. It's certainly DocuSign's view, but if you start to look at why and peel that back, these are not figures um, from DocuSign. These are figures from a Deloitte study conducted a couple of years ago, but businesses that are digital have a higher market valuation. They're incredibly more profitable and they increase their revenue. So like I said at the start, a lot of vendors have spent a lot of time uh, pushing that message out there and the market has got that natural progression towards it. And what they're actually starting to align to, that certainly that DocuSign aligns to very strongly, is the three pillars. It's the customer experience, making it easier to engage and transact um, with their customers. It's making sure that those transactions have got the right security and compliance around them so that they're auditable and, and traceable so that as they move into that digital world, they can ensure that security and compliance. And of course, in particular for small business, for every dollar spent, I've got to see a $10 return. So my return on investment is critical. And that's absolutely the DocuSign uh, alignment. Um, when you start talking about it, certainly all the businesses want, want to be able to get that um, uh, that uh, reduce cost and increased efficiencies, and they want that mobility and they want that legality and, and compliance component. If I start looking at the marketplace and what's happened out there, you know, it's the logo slide. Um, there's a lot of customers that you can quote. There's a lot of resources we've got with that, and, and, and I'll share them with you at the end. But what I really wanted to point out is if you look through there, there's a lot of Australian logos up there, whether it's Henley Homes or Commonwealth Bank or Macquarie Bank. Um, there's a lot of Australian origin energy. There's Australian logos and a number of those are available through Arun and the Ingram team and certainly on the DocuSign Resource Centre. To just point out the sort of thing that businesses out there are looking at, just a quick uh, success story that, that I wanted to just highlight. Has Ching out there uh, has taken on financial services. In the first, they, just, they launched as a pure digital platform and in the first few weeks, the first two weeks, they basically signed up over 1,200 brokers, so brokers in the financial services industry. Um, and then over the following four weeks, they, they received over 1,000 applications. And again, downstream of that, they've hit over half a billion dollars of loans, $530 million of loans. So that's 
what your customers out there are either going to be in competition with or are in competition, and they are looking for those digital solutions. DocuSign sits in the heart of those. So the conversation is will be, by most of your customers, welcomed. So we're going to have those customers, customer conversations. What I really wanted to spend a little bit of time on is the 101. What is DocuSign? Uh, what are the problems it solves? How does it deliver those benefits? And how can you have that conversation with your customer? So I'm going to take, that, take you through that really briefly. Uh, and there'll be some assets that I'll give you at the end that'll go through and explain that. So we talk about what the problem is. The problem is pretty simple. Most organisations out there have already got a sense of digitisation, whether they've got you know, consumer or customer systems or employee HR systems, whether it's a, a, a CRM system. They've digitised a lot of those. Um, but what they've left is that, that last mile. They'll often produce that, but they'll, they'll use those systems, but they'll produce paper-based solutions or email uh, instructions that have got to go out to customers for execution. What that does is it presents a disconnected system and it retains that middle step of that manual process. And that's where that poor customer experience comes in. As I mentioned before, we believe in certainly keeping everything digital. DocuSign fits in that middle spot. We can engage and work with any of those back systems, take those paper-based processes and then digitise them for not just the digital signature, but the workflow that takes them from the system to the customer and back into your back-end systems. So put a different way and put very simplistically, the paper-based process, we spoke about this. Anywhere where, where an organisation's got a printed document or it sends it out to a customer, they've got to print it, it's got to get distributed, the customer's got to sign it or a partner's got to sign it or a, a B2B uh, uh, a partner has to sign it. It's got to get returned. Often the data has to then get entered. If there's an issue with that data being entered, it's got to be redistributed and that cycle goes off again and eventually ends up getting stored. All of those components are the problems that organisations have got that DocuSign is able to go and, uh, and resolve. So when, you, when we understand that that's where, where the, the problems it solves, when you look at it, is the opportunities within your customer base. The opportunities are line up to different DocuSign deliverables. And depending on who you're having that conversation with, you're able to speak uh, the DocuSign value proposition or benefit back to, to, to the opportunities within that organisation. A sales manager will want to understand that they can get a, a reduction in document turnaround so they can make their quarterly numbers. Someone that's, that, that's got more of an interest around reducing cost will look at the average cost savings per document. And so understanding what those components are and having the, the elimination of paper and those paper-based products aligning to those benefits is the conversation that you can start to have with your customer. And of course, they then start in turn to deliver to those three pillars that we spoke about. Now, we spoke about how you explain it. Well, one of these slides I've, I've mentioned before will have a whole bunch of links. And this link here will actually take you directly to a video and it explains it in totality on how to go through, on how DocuSign actually works. But if I was to show you how I explain that when we speak to customers, really simple. There are two participants uh, in, in a transaction and they've got different drivers. A signer wants it to be easy to use, wants it accessible across all their devices, wants it to be trusted and fast. They want to be able to execute really simply wherever they are on any of their devices. A sender, well, they're interested in making sure that what gets executed is legal and secure. It's, they're able to authenticate to make sure they've got, that they've got confidence on who's executing that. And they want to make sure that their investment in their back-end systems has got the ability to, to, to have these transactions integrated and that they can bring that automation from the creation of the document through the workflow that's associated to where, to where the document uh, uh, finishes. DocuSign provides the platform that facilitates those requirements or drivers for both of those parties. That's what DocuSign does. And we do it on a platform that's got high availability, that is and secured and is compliant with, with the, uh, the, the, the global standards. That's where DocuSign fits. And I draw that in the back of an envelope and that's what starts the conversation that allows me to then really move on to say, you know, now that I understand a little bit about your business, how can you and your organisation use it? A lot of companies think about us as, or DocuSign as that signature component, 
But there's a lot, lot more uh, to, to DocuSign and what we do. Um, and some organisations, whilst we're very strong, in, obviously, in the, in the digital signature, you've got the ability of being able to collect data, you're able to get notifications and approvals out there. Uh, a, 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 a huge uh, insurance company in Europe um, uses DocuSign to send any changes to any of their insurance policy. So if they've got a change in insurance policy and they need to advise their policyholders, they use DocuSign to send that advice out there because what they get is an audit trail that says we have notified all of our policyholders. So you can start to think now, if I start to apply that within businesses within, uh, within your customer base, for example, the building industry can start to use it not just to run change requests, for example, uh, but then also to make sure that they've got notification for OHS pushed out to all their team. So it's a lot, lot more than just a digital signature. And when you start looking at that and how that can be applied to your businesses, you can start to really see that I can look at my industry use cases and start looking at, well, what are they within those industries that I can use? I'm going to send this slide, but a whole bunch of slides underneath this that starts to unpack those health industries and starts looking at the business units within those industries so that you can start looking at your customer base and saying, where and how do I go and have that conversation? Finally, one of the things that does happen uh, in, in, as these conversations come up is they start talking about the legality. And um, one, of the, one of the links that you'll get here is um, to the uh, e-signature legality in Australia site, and it talks specifically about the legality of DocuSign within the Australian uh, uh, um, uh, region. Uh, so if you click on that link, it'll take you there. But just note at the bottom there, this is uh, the, trans, uh, the Electronic Transactions Act of 1999. This is not a new act, but uh, it's been around for quite a period of time, and DocuSign is 100% compliant to that. And uh, uh, when you start to unpack what that means, you can start to see the broad set of security compliance that we have got. Um, that you're able to speak. But if any conversation comes up around security, we welcome it. Sorry, Arun, have you got something there? I'm just hearing a bit of noise in the background. Uh, I wasn't expecting anyone nope. else on the call. All right, not a problem. I'll keep going. So okay. um, what, what, what I wanted to do is I really wanted to bring us to, what that says is from a DocuSign 101 perspective, what I'm hoping is we understand the 101, the problem it solves and what it means, the benefits it's able to live, and, and, and how to explain that to your customer. I mentioned earlier on about DocuSign generically. If you start to think about that benefit and value proposition we've spoken about, someone who's already taken off on the Office 365 journey, they're already starting to welcome or bring on board the productivity and, and, and uh, uh, productivity benefits of cloud computing. So they've already knocked down a lot of those walls. And being able to attach DocuSign really starts to add value to the, to, to the Microsoft journey that, that your customers have gone on. This is why our partnership is so strong. They're one of the biggest users of DocuSign globally. Those numbers have already increased. It's certainly right across their organisation. They've got it across um, nearly 300 use cases, across 105 business users. And they're across a number of their uh, 365 solutions, from SharePoint to Dynamics, um, it's integrated. What that means is within that application, you can, you can pull on the DocuSign and insert DocuSign into that workflow and use that. You can be working on a Word document, pull it into DocuSign and send it off on a workflow to get signed and approved and then back to yourself. So like I said at the start, think about your customer base, think about who's on 365 and I'd certainly be having some of those conversations as one of your first protocols. So, um, with all of that knowledge, the key question now is how do I start finding and generating those opportunities? So whilst we've grown up in the industries on your left there, really now, because the maturity of the transformation space is, is really you know, accelerating out there, the key is to look at your customer base and, who, and find out who is your key account uh, sponsor and, and how can they get you speaking to legal or to the, to the CX of, of the different business unit. And I'm absolutely aware I come from small business. Often the managing di director is the CEO, CFO, COO. All of those problems f fall into his, into his category and there's something that they're always looking at. So being able to find the right person to have the conversation is key. And then, like I said, is to look at within that industry, what are the use cases that you can start applying? I will have that list of use cases that, that, that you'll get at the end of this. 
But then being able to start along, what are the qualifying questions? How do I now genuinely start to uncover what those opportunities are? Don't need to go through these now, but if you look at those questions that are there, you can start to have the conversation with the right person that starts to identify and pull out the different use cases, paper, pro, paper processes that are problematic for that organisation or that are something that they want to digitise so they can speed up the process or they can become more compliant or they can increase customer experience. By doing that and understanding the documents and who completes them and how many documents and how many signers are in that process, what you're uncovering is the actual use case. And by uncovering those use cases, you can actually then go back and have a conversation according to what that business unit is that's impacted by that use case, whether it's a sales document or conversation. And then you can look at some of the um, examples that we've got that you're able to get yourself au okay with, which are in these links that we'll send. So that's the way to go through. And that's the way that our, our DocuSign sales guys engage with customer conversations. So I think just before I talk about a demo, that's why I think that with the, with the offer that's been put out there, I, I certainly you know, uh, highly uh, um, drive you to go take up that offer. It's an incredible offer with regards to discounting, but more importantly, it also goes through, puts you in line for the benefit here, but the value of, of getting the license will come by taking and doing some of that training that follows up. By getting that training, you're able to use and feel DocuSign in action, which means you're able to really enrich that customer conversation that you've got out there. So um, what I'll do now is I really wanna just very briefly talk to you about the demo. There's a number of different demos that you can have within your, within your customer base, but the most important is to just give them that signing experience. Once they've, once they've got that, that signing experience and you're having all those conversations that our that, our, that this session's kind of discussed now on the benefits and value, they start to apply this within, within their own business. You're starting to move towards one of those second and third kind of types of presentations, then you really wanna move with a technical resource so that you can start to, for example, brand the site that you're gonna use and actually use their documents as you go through and, and um, do a demonstration with it. But what I really would like to, to, to press to everyone on the call today is that one of the links I'll send out is, um, uh, is a link that takes you, this is the link here and you'll get it in the deck. What that does is it takes you to a site, I'm hoping this is gonna work and I'll be able to show you. It takes you to this site here. This site here is always on 24 seven. And if you're having a conversation with someone, you're able to speak to them, uncover maybe one or two of those use cases. And for example, if your conversation is that it's a sales contract, what you can see is you can actually click that down there and you can actually move to a sales contract. By clicking next, what it does is it brings you to this part of the document and this part of the document here then says, okay, I can fill my customer's information here while I'm in front of them. I have this loaded up on my iPad, on my phone, on any mobile device that I've got. By doing that and saying, click and get started, in front of the customer that you're having the conversation, what you're actually able to do is it'll take this information, it'll load it up into, uh, into the uh, form. Now, I preset that. I hope it's going to work. Uh, otherwise, I'll go back and fill it in again. Here we go. Um, it'll actually take you in and it'll put that information on there. Again, in front of the customer, you're able to go through, explain that there's a number of fields that would be on that sales contract that they would be able to use. You can format those fields so that they force date settings, dollar values, all those sorts of things. And then by clicking sign, you're able to pick up your iPad and actually pass it across to them and say, this is the digital signature that can come up there. Alternatively, if it's on an iPad, they can actually do their signature uh, in front of you with their finger on the, on, the, on the clause. You can explain the digital signature doesn't actually matter. It's the fact that you're, that you're doing something and you can adopt and sign, and that contract or that sales agreement or that NDA is completed. That then gives them the feel of that digital signature. And that's where you're able to really have that conversation to say, I think we can do things better for you. I mentioned to you that you can start to get a more in-depth demo that you can have. If you go to the DocuSign site and to that link that we've got there, you and your 
uh, your business can sign up for a free developer account and you get an exact replica of our production account that you can brand up and, and submit forms in there depending on your customer and the branding and the colours that, that, that your customer would have. So that's all I want to talk about from a demo perspective. For those of you that want to get their technical resources really up and, and racing, I spoke about being, having a, uh, an asset slide. If there's one thing I could counsel you to do, uh, to maybe this evening or when you've got uh, a bit of time free, it won't take you more than an hour, is go to this slide and click this link. The DocuSign Resource Centre here has got a plethora of use cases, success stories globally. You can these videos here, these are predominantly Australian videos. So these are success stories and uh, a similar technique. A room with a bit of noise in the background. You might want to mute uh, whoever that is. Um, I will do that now. These success stories here are Australian success stories. So you can have a look at what Gaden's lawyers have done or Domain. Uh, here is an AMP. Here is Telstra's success story. Um, we spoke about. We spoke about the Microsoft integration. This is the Microsoft uh, Integration Centre and some of their case studies, together with the Mi Microsoft DocuSign Bank of the Future. I spoke about generically how does DocuSign work and why, why DocuSign. These two links will take you there. I spoke about that always on link. I would get this link, email it to yourself, and load it up onto your iPad or your mobile phone. Here is the legal one. And for the technical people within the organisation, if you send them to this site, they can start to integrate, look at those APIs and start using, uh, using um, uh, and working in the developer environment to integrate it into, uh, into some of your customers' uh, sites. Finally, top right, register your leads. All of your Ingram uh, partner managers have got the ability of assisting you by registering those leads. And that, what that allows us to do is that where some of these opportunities are large enough or call for some additional uh, help from DocuSign, our team here is, is, is very happy to help and engage and, and, and help you drive those opportunities forward. So Arun, uh, on those grounds, before I hand over to you, I mentioned to you that there was a number of other assets and capabilities that, that will come with this deck. There's a couple of other use cases that you can look at. This is the Gaidens use case, Randstad, how they use it from, from, from a personnel perspective. We spoke about those different use cases within the industry verticals and then the, the groups within those verticals. So whether it's in the mortgage industry or um, uh, architecture and engineering, they're really laid out there so that you can go through and have a look at the sort of conversation you can have with those customers. I also mentioned that DocuSign generically is, has that strong value proposition. If you take that value proposition that we've just gone through and then you start applying the DocuSign story, it's exactly the same slide, the same proposition, but what we've done is we've just uh, badged it up and branded it up to be in, uh, in line with the Microsoft conversation. You can have this in context with the Microsoft conversation. I won't talk through all of these, but there's certainly assets that you've got available uh, to use. So that's it for me. Um, um, Arun, I'll pass that across to you to maybe close off or round off. Uh, if there's any questions, like I said, please put them through and chat and we'll go through. Thank you so much, George. Uh, thank you for that very con comprehensive presentation on DocuSign. That was uh, very informative now, and I'm sure uh, a lot of people that attended the call got a lot of value from, from hearing that uh, overview, and obviously we'll have questions coming back to the Ingram team. Everybody on the call, uh, feel free to uh, give us a call on 1300 651 124, or you can just uh, contact a normal on, you can email us on imcloud au at ingrammicro.com. Thank you everyone for joining uh, this afternoon and uh, we look forward to hearing from you again. Thank you again, George, for your overview today. And uh, that's the My end of the session for the The leader has disconnected. The conference will be terminated in five minutes.